Hello and welcome once again, ladies and gentlemen, to another episode here on The Life of Signatures Radio. We are in the middle of a series where we are talking about overcoming our limitations and our imperfections on the journey of our pursuit to success and significance. How do we deal with this? Because you cannot remove the imperfections, remove the limitations before you get started and accomplish that which you want to accomplish. Sometimes, even with those limitations and with those uh, imperfections still in us, still around us and still within us, we can do something. We can, we can keep going ahead and uh, winning and learning and growing and improving our capacity and becoming better. So much so that even with the limitations that we've been having, we are not stifled, we are not uh, um, defeated before we get started. That's what we're learning, so stay tuned. Welcome to the Life Signatures Podcast with Lawrence Namale. Lawrence is a life coach, author, and keynote speaker who loves to tackle different topics on purpose, productivity, and resilience. His mission in life is to awaken all your boundless possibilities available in you. Life Signatures Podcast is dedicated to bring to reality every single person who knows that deep down in their gut, there's got to be more to life than this. And now, here is your host, Lawrence Namale. In the episode yesterday, we introduced this topic or this t- this uh, point that it's going to get worse. If you're going to learn to overcome and to deal with your limitations and imperfections on your way or on your journey to pursuing your success, you need to realize that at some point in time, it's going to get worse. But before we talked about that point, the first point we raised, because we're talking about three ways you can be able to overcome your limitations and uh, your imperfections. The first point was that you need to realize that it will be tough to get started. Because we are imperfect, because we are limited, if we want to succeed, it's going to get tough before we get started. And therefore, If we are going to wait until things are not tough so that we can start, we will not start. So regardless of how it looks, get started. But then we've said that it's going to get worse even as you keep going. Things get worse as you keep going. And we said that chances are that things are getting worse. One, because you're on the wrong track. And that's, I mean, designable. You could be able to design that. But two, things could get worse even when you are on the right path. Just because you are on the right path doesn't mean that things should be smooth sailing, should be easy, should be predictable, should be certain, and should thrive. Sometimes on the journey of the right path, You go through a rough patch. Things get worse. And things get worse for several reasons. Things get worse because, number one, probably the timing is not right. The timing for fruition, the maturation. You see, maturation on our pursuit of purpose is not just on the purpose that we're pursuing itself. Sometimes it's also tagged on the timing. Maybe the timing is not right. Look at Zoom. When Zoom started, the COVID pandemic was not there. But then the maturation of Zoom came when the COVID COVID pandemic hit. Zoom became a household name because of the timing. Now, when they were not getting the sales that they wanted, they were having a rough time. Things were getting worse for them. 
So things might get worse before they get better. When you try to do it again, even when things are worse, it will feel worse the second or even the third time as compared to the first time. It might even... You, how many times do we question ourselves and we say, what am I doing? What in the world am I? Why did I even start? It can be so discouraging. You will feel like you are not making headway and there is no point for your resilience anyway. Why would I even stick with this thing? Why would I even keep going? You ask yourself those questions. It keeps going You just can even give up. You you can just throw in the towel. And in fact, by the way, very many people have thrown in the towel when it gets worse. You need to realize one thing, ladies and gentlemen. You need to notice that the getting worse is at times an indication that it is working. Have you ever been sick and they put you on medication and before you get better, you actually get worse? As in the condition that they're they're treating gets worse, right? It doesn't mean that the medicine they have given you is not working. It just means that it takes time for the medicine to actually work, to accomplish its purpose. It takes time for you to get healed. That's the same thing with the efforts. The efforts that you're putting into place, trying to do what you're trying to do. It doesn't mean that these efforts are useless. You've been podcasting for three years. There's not a single shilling or dollar you've received from that. Probably maybe that's not the reason as to why you're podcasting in the first place, but you haven't received any revenue out of it. It might even get worse. It doesn't mean that it's not working. Two people or three people per day are the ones who are downloading your podcast. It doesn't mean that it's not working. Even as late as this last Sunday, someone came to me and said, I lost my contacts. I mean, I lost my smartphone and so on. I used to follow you on Facebook. Are you the guy who used to post these things, uh, who was posting motivational stuff and posting... uh, um, podcast and so on i said uh, which name are you looking at and i he said uh, i mentioned my name and he said yeah that's the guy that's the guy you're the guy and be known to me even in the moments when i was discouraged it was working so ladies and gentlemen sometimes your efforts might not necessarily be seen to yield fruit with the naked eye you see, for us, what we want is input and output. You put in a, a seed of maize in six months or so, you harvest a cob, right? That's what we want. But when it comes to effort, you cannot tell. Sometimes you cannot tell. Even when it seems like it's not working, you cannot tell that it is working. When you break up that relationship And you feel like it's, I mean, you want to die. It might be, you might be tempted to get back to it. Why? Because you feel like that break is not working. You feel like it's, it's, I should go back there. But that would be a bad decision. You need to stick it through and feel the gross pain and feel the gross retrogression. It is working that way. That pain doesn't mean that you should go back to the way things used to be. The decisions that you make on the right path will not necessarily be accompanied by comfort. The discomfort doesn't mean that things are not working. doesn't mean that your effort is not paying off. It is. It is. Just stick it out until the very end. That's how you get to realize that these limitations and these imperfections that you are having are not things that you really need necessarily need to, em- to keep embracing. That I, I, I need to keep, you know, I need to keep 
keep up with my weakness. I need to keep up with my limitations. When things are getting worse, probably because of our limitations and our imperfections, when we've made the right decision, we shouldn't break the mold. We shouldn't break the momentum. We should keep going. We should keep going and we should keep going. Tomorrow we will uh, look at uh, another thing that we can be able to learn how to overcome our limitations and our imperfections. But until then, bye-bye. Thank you for listening to Life Signatures Radio. If you enjoyed today's show, subscribe to Life Signatures Radio on iTunes, Stitcher, or visit our website at lifesignatures.libsyn.com. Life Signatures Radio, fresh, clean, and inspiring.